Hello, I'm Trent Noasad with Case IH, and today we want to show you the process to calibrate a Precision Distro 550T. Calibration can be found in the back menu. If we hit the back menu button, it brings up our calipers, and the only thing we have under it for calibration on a 550T is the meter calibration. Meter calibration is a very important procedure to complete, not only on a 550T, but on any dry application. A meter calibration essentially is telling the rate control system how much product is dispensed for, any, for a given revolution of that meter. This is going to change depending on the type of product, whether it is wheat or soybeans, and also on the seed size of that. It is very important to do a proper calibration so that your rates are fairly accurate when you're out in the field. Now that we've entered the back menu and gone to the calibration page, we can simply ca click on meter calibration. We can see that this particular 550 drill has been calibrated already and it has a rate calibration in it from, our previ from a previous calibration event. For a 550T to function, it does need a rate calibration in it. So the first time you use any precision distro 550, it will ha not have a rate calibration in there. You know, this function will have to be performed. To do this, we simply launch the wizard. We have provided an easy to use wizard that walks through the process. To start off with, it asks you if your tank is full. You'll need to fill your tank up with product, at least a third full, if not some more. It's also important that this product has had time to settle. So it is a good idea to fill your, pro fill your tank on your 550T and then drive to a different location to calibrate so that product has had time to settle. Then you want to make sure the meters are primed. Run some product through them so that, the meter, that there is product that you want to calibrate at the metering rolls. Now we hit the next button. This brings us to confirming our sprocket drive ratio, which is located on the back on the right hand side. There we need to select what sprocket ratio. This is set to one to one, which is what this machine has. We have the ability to select out of the, pre out of the three presets there. Once this is verified, we can hit the next button again. This brings us to setting up ourselves for collecting a physical sample on the drill. The first thing we want to do is select the gates that we want to use. So we close all of the individual run gates except the ones we're going to use. It is recommended that you use anywhere from two to preferably four, one per each individual meter section. After that, we want to divert those Y splitters to the selected, to the, either the front or the back rank, which we will collect the sample at. Now, so after we've selected which runs we're going to collect samples from, we need to attach our sample collection bags. Once that is done, now is the time to actually physically collect the sample. We need to engage the tractor and turn on the fan and press the calibration drive. Prior to actually collecting the sample, it is advisable that you turn the fan on and select a max flow of the hydraulics so that we ensure we will not plug during this procedure. Now you can see we've ran our calibration, collected our product, we've done 125 revolutions. We hit the next button and now it brings us to the point where we actually enter our weight. My sample today, I've got 15 pounds what we collected. I enter into the display, 15 pounds. Hit next again. We collect from the number of runs that we aftered, entered from, so four. Hit next, and it'll give us our calibration value. If we hit finish, we'll accept this value. This procedure is generally recommended to do three times when we're running a new seed product. Now that we've properly calibrated our precision distro, we're now able to go to the field and commence seeding operations. 
for any Precision Disc 550 equipped with weight scales, we also provide you an added feature to further enhance your seed application accuracy. So if you have scales, we can click on the scale tab. Of course, it's going to tell us how much we have in the tank. The bottom button here allows us to enter the auto calibration process. This is what's referred to as a two-point calibration process. It is recommended that in, when you're in the field, you seed some of the field, preferably the headlands, and get into a point in the field where you're running back and forth at an even constant speed. We then will stop the unit and enter the auto calibration by pressing that button. Of course, we are nearly empty now. You need to have at least 800 pounds of product in the tank for the auto calibration to work. So once we've entered it, we then will seed out a certain number of areas. It will provide you an indication of whether your calibration number is high or low after 100 pounds of product. But you need to seed at least a minimum of 400 pounds of product through the weight scale before it will actually provide you a new calibration number and allow you to adjust that. This product is ideal for larger application rate products. The AutoCal feature really helps you tailor it in for your application rates. The one proviso is that you do need to apply a minimum of 400 pounds, which would take a fair number of acres if you're in a low application product, such as hybrid rice or maybe some cover crop blends. For more information on calibrating your precision distril and the functions of AutoCal, please refer to our Precision Distro Productivity Guide. This is available from your local Case IH dealer or reference the owner's manual provided with your product.